Welcome back to some more World Cup gameplay stuff. And today we got France v Belgium, six minute halves, legendary team sheets. Near enough, every player on the pitch has gone up a rating except from Umtiti. Should be a good game. Let's see how it goes. The Bruins playing right wing. Could be pretty interesting for FIFA. Toliso playing out on that left. Also, uh, pretty interesting. I really should fix the audio before. Or I go into it, but you know, we ain't professional enough to do that. It's always good to say it's game semi-finals. Second most important game of the tournament. In this semis, you lose this, you go on, no, if, if you win this year onto the final, you lose this, you go into third place place. So both of these teams, we will be seeing the end. Every team now, all four teams, both have two games left. Both all have semi-finals, and possibly could have the final, or the... Third place placements. Yes. Obviously, we all know where they want to be. I have no idea who's going to be there. Well, if France can find the goals to win them the World Cup, Antoine Griezmann would certainly be someone they'll be looking to. The way he's developed over the last two or three years, got to uh, take my hat off to him. Man, well, Fellaini comes out. Mr. Bob Brush himself. Mr. I signed the contract with United. That's all in them. Crap, kind of, really. In the transfer sense. Some potential in this move. And I actually, actually have no to do. Well, Griezmann's throat. Big headed company with a vital tackle. Run by Overan, back to Mtiti. Taliso. Kugbe. Griezmann. Fellaini. Rubbing him up the back. Could have been. 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 Varane. Both teams having a really good game last time. France beating Uruguay 2 0. Belgium beating the big, almighty Brazil 2 1. Didn't actually watch either of the games because I was out on the date they happened. But, you know. I watched the end of the, the Belgium game. Oh, that's a good ball. That's such a shot. Fellaini shoots. Fernandez blocks and clears. Yeah, I was out, but I watched the end of the Belgium Brazil game. It looked pretty crazy. I haven't watched the highlights, I really should. Griezmann. Trying to do his man. Oh, Chadley. Relegated Chadley playing really well for Belgium. Injured all season, comes back for the World Cup and then he starts tearing it up as soon as he comes back. What guy? Had his footless card on FIFA 17. He used it a lot. I enjoyed that card. Aliso is Six foot ass long. I don't have a lot of time to record this video, so who knows how this is going to go. It goes into extra time, and it gets a bit worse. As they talk about Pogba's passing, and this is a bad. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. I want to see Belgium win, and then England win, and then Belgium and England go up against each other in the final. It would be so crazy if like, both teams from the group have got to the final. Has that ever been done before? Well, it probably has, but I still think it's pretty pretty weird, pretty crazy. 
Pogba. Forward momentum is with France here. Instead of like a friendly, nice through ball, but he might be offside. And he was. Assistant, of course, has one chance to see it. Did he get it right, Alan? Oh, just about. I mean, that is a. a I'm just going to implement VAR there. into. It wasn't much in it, a few inches, really. It's not needed. In it, That's a good spot by the point defender. For making. But who knows? Maybe they will. Maybe they'll add it in just to be, just to annoy players a lot more. Quick into the tackle, and the result is going to be a throw. Taken quickly. You are the champions of the evening. As do not anymore. Who comes in, fits with the header and risks his save. Well, you could argue it was a good height for him, but what reflexes, what agility he showed there. This one was the warm pass to Jeru, Taliso. Not really doing much down that left. May well be an advantage for France here. Riesman, Pogba doing a nice one too. Jeru wins it back. On tie. Griezmann. Griezmann. Pogba. Pogba tries to find Griezmann, but Fellaini cuts it out. Fellaini and Pogba. Fellaini reading Pogba. I'm nearing the third time he gets it pulled. Pogba gets it again, tries to through more than the top to Mbappe, but can't find him. It's Chadley. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Jan Vertonghen. So, nice through ball here to Hazard. Hazard goes in with a nice tackle and gets it away from him. Griezmann from Mbappe, we haven't seen anything of him really. Jim. Conte. Griezmann tackled by De Bruyne. Vertonghen. Laney. Exactly. Not nicely. Nice ball to Chadley. Chadley with the shot saved pretty comfortably by Loris. Rolled out to Varane. Under some pressure, he shielded it well. Rain with the tackle. Uh, and that is the first half done. That is the first half done. Rants haven't registered a shot at all. Ooh. They've got more possession, but they haven't got any shots. And we've got another 45 minutes to go. And uh, set your watches, off we go. Axel Witzel. So. Still going. Finds De Bruyne. De Bruyne can't get past to Liso. Ends up with Munier. Munier onto Witzel. Witzel through to Fellaini! The bog brush is scored! Straight from kickoff. Basically, Belgium managed to break down the French defence. Nice balls passed across the box, and the bog brush is there to finish it. He does Pogba again. Pogba's there, turns around and goes, Oh crap, there's the ball. Bam! Fellaini finds back in the net. And now it gets intense. Oh, it's a good attack by France. Pull out by Chadley. Bruin. Fellaini. Tackle by Kante. Griezmann. On to Giroud. Belgium looks to be opening up at the back. Giroud. Griezmann. Pogba. Chadley with a fantastic tackle. Jeez. Pogba looking to get his own back against Fellaini. It's just a game of Pogba Fellaini. He's been popping in every once in a while. And Chadley actually. Chadley's been good. Kante driven across. Finds Varane but can't find the back of the net. Which was down fast. Main face. Axel Witzel. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Trying to keep the ball, not anymore. Well, Comes over the top. 
Hold my round and head it up. Head clear. Need a Moonyang. Giroud in the box now. Can't be diving in. Dante takes it out wide. Pulls it back. Griezmann. Good attack by France here. Ball comes across. Giroud! Ah, look at A little nice. We saw that goal from flipping Mikatarian until this game. Oh yeah, I was the best. He got bloody good best goal for it as well. They've basically done the same as Belgium there. They've worked it around, cut it across and banged it into the back of the net. One one. Number nine, Olivier Chadley. Olivier Chadley. So nice through ball, but Jury is not fast enough. Hold a viral can get back that back to cross by easily. Munia, Torbe, Witzel, De Bruyne, uh, oh no, sorry, it's not. Ante, what can I do? Ogba, nice ball over to Mbappe. And Bappe, can he cut across? No, he's going alone. He goes down, but ref says no pen. Probably would have VAR if it was real. Havard. Havard. Pente. White. Who comes in? Lukaku! Oh. Right on a plate for him there. Well, it wasn't right on a plate, he's got to do something. One of the easier chances. And it gives it back to him. And uh, up to Giroud, Vitzel with the tackle nicely, and Robeyreld claims it, Vitzel, back to the Bob Brass, Tillemans, Azad, Mbappé, and then Azad, as the game likes to call him, Fernandes tackles, Morris up to Dembele, packed in today, Griezmann, Giroud, tackled by Falene, Litzel, Fellaini, Litzel, I found out with the AI, most of their goals actually come from the midfield. If you're playing career mode and you sim your games, there's no point of having a striker because your strikers won't score, well they will, but your midfield is more likely to score. Every time I sim for it, when I have Pogba on my team, he's near enough always golden boot. I have Pogba, Milinkovic, Savic in the midfield, those guys just banging goals. And then you have like Dybala at camp. So many goals come from. It's insane. Midfielders are the way to go. You just get loads of good midfielders if you're going to sim it. And they just smack in all the goals. I think Dybala on the first season I had him scored like 40 goals in all competitions. Insane. Oh, that's good, Giroud! Oh, he's trying to hit this one too hard, hasn't he? Oh, I think he shanked it, Martin. Oh, he's a Bloody shanked it. He's going to make oh, a change now. I'm running a tight schedule here. Giroud! Giroud! 
good look, go and do this attack. Fellini's up there though. Fellini should be used as an attacking midfielder, non defensive minded. He used to be a striker, I'm pretty sure, at Everton. Somehow he's slowly worked his way down to something. At which place he gives away flipping fouls all the time. Yeah, extra time. That's near enough there. It's a test now of the team's fitness as well as their footballing ability as we go into extra time. Very good indeed, but the move is broken down. Fellaini. Tielemans. Axel Witzel. Thomas Mellier. It goes out wide again. And that's good support as they build this attack. Here comes Ah, oh, he tries to get across him, but can't. That certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. Oh, he wins it back, Vitzel. Is it through to De Bruyne? Can't find him there. Finds Hazard. Belgium coming out the stronger side this half. Hazard blocks that north left. Pogba. And hey, nice ball up to Giroud. Giroud cuts over nicely. He's going for it. Finds Griezmann. Griezmann down to Kante. Kante can't find the ball when Alderweire is able to tackle. Thomas Brian. Mm, -da -da. Griezmann. Griezmann. Giroud. Oh, Giroud wins it back. Ah, uh, company comes across and tackles. Axel Witzel. My laptop literally sounds like it's going to take off. The fans are so flipping loud. I don't know if you can hear it. They are so loud. Probably because it's super hot. Giroud holding off nicely, finds Mbappe. Ref doesn't let him have their last attack. Stats haven't changed really, except for maybe possession. I don't know. I don't think possession. I looked at shots and stuff. Substitution has been made. We haven't seen it. It's made. I heard the guy talking. Mendy on for Hernandez. Shut up, shot maybe. Munio comes down his right hand side. Still coming. Thanks for it, Vitzel. Loris has to make a good save. Munia with power, just bombing down the field. Brian with the cross. Giroud with the clearance. Griezmann tries to win it, it does. I can't see it's in the light now. Ogba. Mbappe. Ogba, Kante. Giroud, Mbappe. Griezmann. Runs coming from Giroud, Griezmann holds it up. Is it back to Dembele? He's very confident with the ball at his feet. And Lemons can clear. Comes over to Mbappe though. Griezmann wins it back. Mbappe. Mbappe still. Holding off. And what the fuck is that? Corner. Okay. Okay. Oh damn it, I've only got three minutes. Short corner, designed to move the opposition around in the middle. Well, he's got support here. Pass. I can't do my other one. I can't do the England. Offside. The officials. Can't do the England game today. I've got to do it tomorrow. Well, I wanted to do it today because I can take it over to where I go and I can upload it a lot faster than I can at home. But oh well. Havard coming down this right hand side. Cuts back. Plays it into Mbappe. Can't find a pass. Belgium, and they're enough all back in their own box now. Hazard. Hazard. 
Risky pass doesn't work out for the Belgians. Pogba, then Bally tries to find the ball through. Pogba wins it though, and Bappe, shielding again, <laughs> flies past the Pavard. Mbappe tackled. Belgium to break. De Bruyne. Lemons. Mertens. Mertens just run. Hazard. Tackled by Mendy. His first contribution of the game is a vital one. It's good work between these two. Looks like he's going to penalties, if you ask me. Unless they can get a go out this last minute. No. Penalties! Yes! Giroud stepping up for us for far. Courtois, a six foot six man in goal. Can he get it past the giraffe? Nope. And Hazard get it past Loris. Yes. Ogba, and he get past Courtois. Yes. Witzel. Of the Belgian. Looking in the lead. Ah, oh, the cheeky chips worked. Guzman Dembele for France. How? Just beside Courtois. De Bruyne for Belgium to keep them in the lead once again. Hardy oh, hits the post! Back on level terms, Griezmann, star the star Frenchman steps up. And he scores. Belgium now under pressure. Merton steps up. Oh, top corner. No pressure in his mind. Mbappe, the young Frenchman. Saved by Courtois. Tillemans to send Belgium to the final. To, he's got the French fans in front of him. And has no pressure and slots it in. Belgium are free. Belgium are free. There you go. It's predicting a Belgium final, but who are they going to be up against? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> Find out tomorrow when I upload it, but uh, I haven't finished. I haven't recorded it yet. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.